Verify the partition scheme of your disk. This guide focuses on disks utilizing the GPT partition style. To determine the partition scheme of your disk in Windows, open PowerShell on your Windows system and run the following command. Determine if your Windows installation is using BIOS or UEFI. This video is specifically tailored for systems running in UEFI mode. Click on the Start menu and search for System Information. Look for the BIOS mode field in the System Summary. The next step in the process is to disable Secure Boot. Open the Start menu and go to Settings. Under the Recovery options, click on Advanced Startup and then choose Restart Now. In the Advanced Startup options, select Troubleshoot. Next, choose Advanced Options. And then select UEFI Firmware Settings. Click on Restart to enter the UEFI BIOS settings. It's important to note that the appearance and layout of the BIOS slash UEFI window can vary depending on the manufacturer of your desktop or laptop. In the case of Dell laptops, you can typically find the option to enable or disable Secure Boot under the Boot Configuration section. To disable Secure Boot, toggle the switch to the off position. Confirm the action by selecting Yes to disable Secure Boot and save the profile. Lastly, press the exit button to restart the machine, applying the saved settings. To verify the status of Secure Boot from within Windows, first, open the Run dialog by pressing the Windows key R. Type msinfo32 in the dialog box and hit Enter. If the Secure Boot state shows as off, it indicates that Secure Boot is currently disabled on your system. If your Windows installation has Drive Encryption enabled, it is necessary to disable it before proceeding with the installation of Pop! OS. To do so, search for Drive Encryption in Start menu. Then click on Turn Off to disable the encryption. Windows will now start the process of decrypting the existing files. Please note that the duration of this process will vary depending on the size of your data. In this step, we will proceed with creating a dedicated partition for the installation of Pop! OS Linux. To begin, access the Disk Management utility from the Start menu. In the Disk Management window, locate the C drive which represents your primary Windows partition. Right-click on the C drive and select the Shrink Volume option. Enter the desired size for the new partition in megabytes. Make sure to allocate enough space for the Linux installation. Click on the Shrink button to initiate the shrinking process. It may take a few moments to complete. After the process finishes, you will see a new section labeled Unallocated Space in the Disk Management Utility. This unallocated space will be utilized for creating the partitions for Pop! OS. Download the latest Pop! OS from its official downloads page.
Once the download is complete, the next step is to write the ISO image to an external medium. In my case, I am using an external USB device for the installation of Pop! OS. To accomplish this, you will need tools such as Etcher, Rufus, or similar software capable of writing ISO images to external media. After installing Etcher insert the USB device that you intend to use for installing PopOS then select the flash from file option. This will allow you to choose the ISO image you previously downloaded. Select the target drive. Ensure that the correct external drive is selected as the target device. Click on the flash button to begin the process of writing the ISO image to the USB device. This may take some time, so be patient until the process completes. Restart the machine, ensuring that the USB device is connected before rebooting. To access the boot settings, press the bootloader shortcut key. In my case, the shortcut key is F12, but this may vary depending on your specific machine. Once in the boot settings menu, select the USB device from the available options to boot the machine with Pop! OS. After selecting the USB device as the boot option, you will be presented with the try or install option. Choose this option to proceed. For the purpose of this video, we will proceed with the custom advanced method, as it allows for more control and customization during the partitioning process. Select the Modify Partitions option, which will open the Gparted utility. Right-click the Unallocated Space and let's create Boot, Root and Home Partition. Once all the partitions are created click on the tick icon on the menu bar to write the changes.
Now, in addition to creating partitions, you need to configure which partitions will be used for installation, specify the file system type, and assign mount points. On the top bar, click on the newly created partition. Once all newly created partitions are configured, you should see the tick mark on the partitions and the erase and install option enabled. Once the installation is completed, click Restart Device. After the restart is complete, log in using the username and password you created during the installation process. Congratulations! You have completed all the necessary post-installation steps. Now, you can start using PopOS and explore all the features PopOS has to offer. First, increase the boot wait time for systemd. Open the loader.conf file. Add the following line and save the file. This will make the systemd boot loader wait for 10 seconds before automatically booting into PopOS. Next is to install the OS Prober utility which will automatically fetch all the installed operating systems in the machine. Run the OS Prober command and it will show you the Windows Boot Manager entry. As you can see from the output, Windows Boot Manager is in slash dev slash SDA1 partition. Mount dev SDA1 partition into mount point. Under the MNTEFI directory, you can see the Microsoft Windows Manager related files. Copy the MNTEFI Microsoft directory to boot EFI. Now reboot the machine. This time you will see systemd boot options similar to the grub boot loader. You can either choose Windows Boot Manager to boot into Windows or boot into Pop OS by selecting the first option. Congratulations! We have successfully completed the Windows 10 and Pop OS dual boot configuration.